Exhibition European champion Wayne Alexander after a shocking setback before Christmas when he was outlasted and stopped by uh, a middle-of-the-road fighter, really, in Delroy Mellis. Huge inconvenience to a, a stop-start career that has uh, failed to ignite. But Johnny, he insists he's still our best light middleweight as he tackles uh, Howard Clark, the old journeyman here. On his day, you know, what he, he is, but he's very unpredictable when he throws his shots, and he's got a really awkward stand-forward style, and he looks really open, but then when he lands at TNT, he's, he's got a lot of power there. But you know what, now and again, he's not giving himself justice, and he's, he's let himself down as he did in his last fight. Yeah, it seems a million miles away, doesn't it, when Howard Clark went into the Madison Square Garden ring. Was caught with a right hand there and had that dream fight with Fernando Vargas. Well, that's a great left hook to the body, and Alexander's down in the first round. Oh, career on the line here for the former British and European champion. He's up to his feet, but that was out of the blue. And he looks shell shocked once again. Howard Clark scores a knockdown in the first round really hurt by that win taken out of him wayne alexander howard clark who's in his 72nd fight and uh what an upset it would be if he could pull this off but he's boxing well it's given clark desire to win he's given him confidence but putting him down there it's, it's a seesaw situation uh alexander starting to question himself uh, if he's still got it but <laughs> terrific right hand though is the answer from alexander who just uh, slips there but the power suddenly shakes Howard Clark and he's unsteady on his legs and Alexander knows it he's going for the finish here real excitement at the York Hall tonight and Howard Clark's got to cover up and cover up quickly got to throw something back he's got to he's got to grab hold of him and turn him and stop him from working get him in close the tables have been turned here in the second, and now Clark has felt Alexander's big power, and it seems to have knocked everything out of him. Oh, another meaty looking right hand. As I say, we fight as the last thing to go as a power. And you know what? I, I think we've seen better of, of Wayne Alexander, but this will always make a difference for him. Seamus Dunn goes in. Stopped in the second round, Wayne Alexander gets off the floor in the first to show us he still has the power to turn things around.